Alright, so let's talk about triangles. So now a triangle is a three-sided polygon. So now let's look at some familiar vocabulary. So you remember a polygon is a closed figure made up of nine segments. An acute angle is any angle less than 90 degrees. A right angle is exactly 90 degrees. An obtuse angle is greater than 90 degrees, but less than 180 degrees. And then a straight angle is exactly 180. 180 degrees and we will be having a I know that y'all see all these letters or stuff on all of these angles and we will have a lesson later on how to name angles that's going to be very beneficial once we start measuring angles so now an equilateral triangle three equal angles all 60 degrees all the sides are equal all the lines intersect and they will form intersecting lines and they will have three lines of symmetry. So let me break my, take my pen back out. So it will have a line of symmetry here. It will have a line of symmetry here. And it will have a line of symmetry going through there. So three lines of symmetry and you remember and I'm going to change the colors that all the lines will intersect so if I draw the line going up this way and draw the line going up this way those lines will intersect even if I do it going this way all these lines will intersect with each other and all of, remember all of your angles are equal all of them are 60 degrees and all of the sides are equal. And I'm going to mark all those equal sides with a green strip or green stripe. Now our next type of triangle is an isosceles triangle. It has two equal sides, two equal angles, and those equal angles are here and here. All of the lines intersect and it has one line of symmetry. So, those equal sides are marked here. Right here, I'm going to mark over those in black. Your equal angles are both here. So, these two angles will have the same exact measurements. And again, like I said, we're going to do more with that once we start working with protractors. And your line of symmetry will go right down the middle through here. That wasn't the most even of line, but your line of symmetry will go right down through the middle. And you remember, when you have a polygon, you can extend those lines to show that those lines will, in fact, intersect with each other. You remember, that's going to be very important once we start answering questions like that. So remember, all the lines intersect. Now, a right triangle, it has one right angle, which in that right, that right angle is always here. It's going to be here in the corner, or if you flip the triangle over, it can be here or here, depending on how the triangle sits. Uh, two sides can be equal or not equal. The other angles are acute, and all the lines intersect. One of the lines will intersect to form a perpendicular line. I'm going to show y'all where that is. And that's going to be right coming down through here. And that will form a square on the opposite side, on the opposite corner. And then our last type of triangle is a scalene triangle. So make sure you draw all of these pictures in your notebook. They can have three acute angles. They can have three angle types, right? Acute and obtuse. None of the sides are equal. They will have no lines of symmetry, and all of the lines will intersect. And so that is the end of our lesson on triangles.